so I guess I'm asking and people want to know uh, where is mellow and sin today? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the beauty in that question, and I, I, I like that question because we both come from a crew of groups that we've, for the most part, keep things in house very right. tight. But I will say this, my brother and I got into a family dispute about 11 years ago and we haven't been the same since. Okay. And so where are we today? We are where we were 11 years ago. Okay. Um, but you know, who's to say that tomorrow, right. I may not pick up the phone and call him and he might pick up the phone and call me. Right. Um, I think the healing process needs to take place right. in terms of there's some apologies that need to take place. I won't get into specifics. Of course, of course. You, you know, uh, I won't get into specifics, but I think, you know, that that healing needs to take place with the conversation of apologies first. And I think everything else can follow in domino effect after that. We can start drinking beers again. We can start maybe right. even making music again. Right. But this had nothing to do with music. And, right. I, and I want the fans to understand that, that it wasn't a, oh, Send Dog's not giving Mello his royalties or something right, like that, which happens a lot in the business. This was a family thing. It was a, a Reyes thing. And, and then, you know, we still have to iron it out. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, my next question is pretty similar, um, and it has to do with the same group. Where are you at with B-Real right now? Yeah. Well, B-Real is a whole different entity for me. You well, know, when is the last time you talked to him? 11 years ago. Wow. And here's why. I was going through a divorce, right? I was going through a divorce, and um, he didn't... He needed me to come out to Brazil with him and Snoop Dogg, right? But at the time, I'm going through a divorce and a custody battle for my children. So instead of him calling me direct and asking me why I couldn't go, he had somebody else call me, another dude from the camp. Yeah. And I basically told him, bro, I can't jet out right now because I'm in the middle of custody for right. my kids or whatnot. Which, if you see me, you know how... Of I moved for my kids. And and I think it was just a lack of communication. He could have just called me. Right. And I think if he would have just called me, I would have just, you know what, talk to my lawyer and say, look, let's postpone this. Let's move it back. This is right. crucial that I do this. But honestly, I think he's still upset up with me about not going to Brazil. Okay. And, and realistically, who doesn't want to go to Brazil? Of course. With Snoop Dogg and be real. Of course. Right? So... You know, if he's watching this, I hope that he can understand my position of where I was at the time. And, you know, I, I harbor no ill will right. towards him. He's always tried to help my career in certain things that he's done. And, you know, I just wish him the best. But at the end of the day, is, you know, I, I'm still, I have to survive as Mellow Man Ace. I'm still Mellow Man Ace every right, day. Right. Did you listen to their last album? No. Okay. No. Uh, the reason why I asked you about your brother is because... Uh, people that knew that I was going to be interviewing you were texting me and asked, are we ever going to see the Reyes brothers again? Yeah. But for those of you that may not know what the, who the Reyes brothers are, Mellow Man Ace, Send Dog, yeah. uh, they did an album together. You got, as a matter of fact, you got that apparel and stuff like that. As Absolutely. Well. It was yeah, a great that, I, time while it lasted. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I seen the pictures at your house that you still have up. Yeah. I thought that was really dope. I mean, because I met Sen, uh, well, actually, I met him before you introduced me to him because I think when you introduced me to him, it was... Uh, they, we were at the Temple of Boom Bash. It was the the third album had just dropped. Okay. And this was actually before Bobo, if I'm correct. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I had met him in Miami, and I had talked to him a couple of times. You know, I told him that I had met you, I was a fan, and et cetera. And then I got reacquainted with him when I hooked up with you. I want to say like '96, if I'm correct. <laughs>